Open Range 318 RLS here at Hazlet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is a member of their Light family, L-I-G-H-T, as opposed to L-I-T-E, which is commonly misused in the RV business. Um, there are so many unique qualities and whatnot on here that I just need to start digging in. But keep in mind, like this, this one is equipped in the ivory interior scheme and has a couple options I'll hit on as we go. Um, this is stock footage. Not every single model we carry is going to be, uh, will look and be equipped exactly like this. So, first of all, let's start right up here at the nose because it, it stands out from the pack. It almost has like a Marvin the Martian spaceship look. And this would be a perfect time for me to make some kind of a, uh, this is out of this world sort of joke, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that, America. No way. Let's start right up front. We have the King Combo pin box here. Looks goofy, works awesome. This is what allows us to achieve a 90 degree jackknife turn, even on a five and a half foot short box bed. The other thing is, pull this pin, that'll drop this plate out and you can convert this over into a gooseneck adapter very quickly, easily, and uh, inexpensively, I think that's a word. If not, I just made it. I've coined a new phrase. Anyway, we have a push button power awning, and I like that they actually put a pattern on the underside of the awning. The white is nice because it does reflect good light, but you don't need it to reflect light here because the lights are built into the awning tube of an open range. I wasn't able to fully extend the awning, so we can't see that. But because the lights are in the motor, you can use the switch to pivot and angle the lights wherever, whenever, however you want. Um, it is a critical, critical feature to mention. Um, that every single open range is zero and 100 degree tested. That means that this is good for just about any season you want to go camping. Keep in mind, if it is negative 20 degrees outside with the wind blowing, there are exactly zero RVs made for that kind of weather. I will not lie to you, I will always shoot people straight. You will always need to take supplemental heat options to prepare for weather like that. Now even here, first of all, in a, uh, a lighter weight, uh, big fifth wheel like this, uh, the fact that this has a huge underbelly here is uncommon. Most fifth wheels with a similar floor plan, because there are quite a few, this is a highly popular model, um, will not have this level of uh, basement storage space. Also, the just the attention to detail and the amenities, like we have TV outlets down here, we have power outlets to run a TV or a mini fridge if you're so inclined. We also have LED lighting even down here in the basement storage area. Um, you'll see smarter, more user-friendly features, and they will use every single ounce of space they can in every model. They will not leave dead pockets. Uh, by the way, I mentioned the zero and 100 degree weather uh, testing. That's why they have a forced air heated, enclosed, insulated underbelly. Um, it is a, uh, it's, it's, this is the highest appointed fifth wheel, really, in its class or size. And there are a lot of fifth wheels out there. That's a pretty bold statement. But if you follow me through this video, you'll see what I mean. Like we like to add the strong arm stabilizer jacks to your, your stabilizers. Now these are on the front and rear jacks. They're just easier to see here. But this, uh, notice that they, they're going to prevent both lateral and forward and rear movement. So that's going to keep your RV super, super steady and stable on your campsite. Um, it is really important to mention every single open range is wide body. Most RVs are eight foot wide. This is 102 inch wide, but pardon me, pardon me, 100 inch wide body, not 102. And um, that's going to give you extra interior space. Additionally, this will generally be taller than most fifth wheels of a similar floor plan. Um, this also has a full 42 inch deep super slide in the living room on the other side of the RV. So in English, this is roughly eight to 10 inches wider when it's open than anything else with a similar floor plan so that's one of those things that you can't see from a schematic but and you can't necessarily like you can't put your finger on it but when you come to look at one of these you're like man it's just like it's just so much more open in here that's why smarter features like this the baggage door flips down instead of up if it flipped up it would hit the bedroom slide or it would have to stick almost straight out and you'd have to like duck under it to get in there and that's not fun um, you know, so they leave it flipped down so it's easier to get to. A private docking station is uh, not an uncommon thing by any means, but in this class, in this size, it is. Um, this is the kind of fun stuff here very few salesmen even know about. Most salesmen have really no idea what they're selling. They're going to tell you it's pretty and look at the price. We're looking at a couple important things here. Uh, first of all, we have uh, stainless steel uh, wheel shields here. Oh, that's hard to say. And uh, 
if you have a blowout, that's going to help give you a level of prevention, you know, to, to, to shield the floor of your trailer before a flapping busted out wheel blows it apart. Because this is a big radial, you know, that could do that. Also, that big yellow block right there is an Equiflex rubberized dampening suspension. It has 50% more independent wheel travel, meaning the wheels can be at different angles 50% further before the entire RV jerks. And, um... It's also rubberized dampening, which I mentioned, so the shocks and jolts from the road aren't going to translate up into the body of the fifth wheel and forward into your vehicle so that you don't get tossed around your truck. Uh, fully walk-on roof, it has a PVC rubberized membrane. What that means is that it requires zero treatment on that roof membrane. I didn't say you don't have to check seals. Those are different things. The roof membrane itself does not require treatment. Um, the uh, roof decking is all plywood. The roof uh, rafters, the trusses are stamped steel. So this is an extremely heavy duty, well-built roof that surpasses most things in this size and class. Uh, there are some other good brands out there that also build excellent roofing. This is by no means like the only one you should ever consider. And you know, all the, every RV is good for different reasons. This one's good for a lot. That's why I point these out. Frameless windows are becoming more and more common because they're super cool. They look awesome and they hide the seal under the window pane. Because they open in a jowlessy style, they tilt open from the top, you can still use them in the rain. That's something most people don't realize. This has double the warranty of virtually any other fifth wheel out there with few exceptions, such as its cousin, the Jayco RV. Um, the, uh, uh, you know, that's that's twice the warranty. They're, they're offering twice as much confidence in their own product, twice as much of their own money on the line. You know, they, they wouldn't do that just out of the goodness of their hearts. Frankly, this is a business. You know, if we're very realistic with one another, which I always try to be, good, bad, or ugly, this is a business, you know, and if people aren't turning profits, they're not going to build these things. But they offer double the warranty, and they're still turning profits. They have to be building a better product. And these things come in uh, without serious defects. They leave without serious defects. We're getting support from the factory and the little stuff that does need address. They are performing. That's why we're fans. LED taillights here, so you don't need to worry about replacing bulbs and whatnot. You know, while we're standing here, even your corner trim, this is aluminum uh, fitted trim. This is not plastic trim with a rubber screw cover. Uh, that stuff is super sensitive to, uh, to sun damage. And unfortunately, most people don't take care of their RVs the way they should. That's why they do stuff like this. It'll last longer over time. Because ever notice how everybody's the victim? It's never, oh, I, I forgot to, to seal my RV or check my, my six-year-old trailer seals. No, it's, oh, this thing's a piece of junk. You know, after six years of being left in a field in the sun, it's the trailer's fault. Well, they just don't even want to deal with it at open range, so they build a better product. Notice here, you really can't see through the window very well, but you can see out of it very easily. So you're getting light. You're also getting privacy. And look at the massive window in this door. I, I know of a couple other fifth wheels that have doors like that, and they retail for $102,000. Uh, you know, that not, not at the easier price point of an open range 318 RLS. Now, I specifically left the lights off so that you could kind of get to see how well the lights work. But check this out. Right when you walk in, there's always just like a kitchen and living room light switch. You'll have one switch for the bathroom, one switch for the bedroom, just like you have at home. And then one, two, three, magic. You know, they have great light fixtures, great quality. They provide more lumens, meaning more illumination, um, than uh, incandescent bulbs here. Uh, my batteries look like they might be going dead on me, so I, we might lose some light at some point. Big max air fan here uh, above the cooking area, and that's to help exhaust heat. Now, um, we're looking at two super slides set across from one another. Here we have a kitchen and sofa slide, and here we have a... That big 42 inch deep slide I was telling you about. Most fifth wheels, pretty much all other fifth wheels, are going to have a 36 inch deep slide over here. And that's cool. There's nothing wrong with that and it's a great deep full slide out. This is six extra inches deep. That means you get a bigger table, you get more space around your chairs, um, you're, you're going to have uh, bigger windows, you're gonna have more walking space, you get more everything. 
Uh, we have upgraded the uh, refrigerator here to be an eight cubic foot instead of a six. That's going to give you 30% more capacity. And your storage options in every open range are awesome. The storage is bigger, easier to access, where it would be a difficult, awkward space, the storage will come to you like we just saw there. One of the few differences between a open range light and an open range roamer is the countertop. And other than that, they're virtually identical. I mean, in build and construction, warranty, everything. But they use a lighter weight molded resin countertop here so that water can't get into it and sponge. And I apologize if you're hearing those chirps. That's because my batteries are going dead on me. Um, hide a bed sofa over here. And notice the size of the windows and they all open. So you get excellent cross breeze and ventilation in here. I left these chairs pushed right up against the window to demonstrate something for you. These are not just recliners, they're wall huggers. They pull away from the wall. So you don't have to wrestle with a big heavy chair and pull it forward halfway out into your living room where it's awkward and annoying to use. You just don't have to, it's, it's a better setup. Also, uh, right behind each chair, they do have a nice set of outlets here so you can keep like, uh, you know, laptops and things charged right from your seat. Um, See, we talked about the big windows. Oh, air conditioner. We haven't talked about the air conditioner. They use racetrack ducted air systems in here, not to mention the fact that their standard air conditioner is 50% more powerful than the industry standard air conditioner. That all adds up quickly. What racetrack ducted means is, as the name would apply, basically your whole AC system's an oval. Most are not. Most are either a single shunt or they're H ducted, where there's two uh, veins that run down the ceiling of the trailer. Um, when you have those other systems, there I guess there's nothing really wrong with them. This is just better. But they can tend to have air pressure buildup at the ends of the trailer, which is either your living room or your bedroom in this instance. Both of those places are not good places to not get quality airflow. So this air system actually loops back around and it, the whole trailer gets more even cooling that way. Um, let's uh, spin around and take a quick look at the entertainment center here. So we're looking at this big hardwood dining table set, which is just gorgeous to look at, but uh, it's overlooking a huge entertainment center. Uh, we have a full complement of Furion brand electronics. Uh, Furion is the number one, well, pardon me, maybe not number one, but at least the, the highest uh, like premier producer of uh, electronics for RV and marine applications. It can be shaken and frozen and heated further, harder, faster, more than common store-bought electronics before you run into component failure. And every ounce of space is going to be utilized in an open range. Just like a motor home, they'll have a like a hidden DVD shelf back here. They will not waste a single ounce of this thing. Your stereo is AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth. And I hate to rattle that off quickly because there's a lot of good stuff going on there, but it's kind of common. What's not common is the fact that it's also HDMI enabled. And they do leave you a spot here for a satellite brain, which a lot of brands won't. Your fireplace is an electric space heater. It is going to, um, you know, take the chill out of the air without burning up your propane. I'm kind of losing my voice. I've shot a lot of these lately. I'm sorry. Uh, let me uh, open up a couple cabinets here to demonstrate the fact that your cubic foot of storage space in an open range is pretty much unsurpassed. So bear with me here. I'm going to save a little bit of battery power and kill some of these lights. Still nice and bright in here. Overhead cabinets are huge. They're also shelved to give you double the total actual storage space. And notice that your cabinetry is all hidden hinge. Again, uh, this being the, um, the, the littlest brother of the open range family, it still has the same construction features and qualities you see out of everything else. Down here, we're going to see similar cabinetry space with three of these gigantic pullout drawers. Uh, we, we looked at the, the pullout pantry over here. I mentioned the bigger fridge. Let's take a look at the island real quick because this is a space a lot of manufacturers don't utilize well. First of all, they are giving us uh, a, uh, oops, I'm sorry, on this floor plan, it's over here, <laughs> a spot for a trash can. And they're gonna do that in pretty much every model I've seen. They also have um, good drawer space here. You have a couple of these pullout drawers here. You saw the gigantic pullout drawers over there. So you're getting tons of storage space going on. And this is also the perfect spot to set a couple little bar stools and have a little breakfast nook. Let's walk upstairs real quick. You know, little things I want to mention. They have a coat closet right when you walk in the door. I love that. You know, there there's a lot of these big RVs, expensive RVs, that don't even give you a place to hang a coat. It's kind of dumb. Um, in this specific floor plan, or pardon me, in this specific model in this video, 
we have upgraded to what they're calling a French door, which is the glass panel insert. Um, it's a mostly cosmetic thing, but it does allow some light to exchange. I always forget to talk about this outside. The, the King Jack uh, antenna system. Even the antenna is better in here. It has a longer reach with better clarity. You get more channels. Um, it's worth mentioning every single, look at that again, one switch and bam, lights. Every single open range is 50 amp service. That means you can add a second air conditioner here if you are so inclined. It is pre-wired. With a $9 adapter, you can take this to any 30 amp service site though. So you can, you, you, it's like you get to go anywhere you want now. Now they, they change things around here. Uh, let's start up front. They utilize every square inch of that goofy looking nose cap, which actually toes nicely to give you uh, extra storage space here. There are power uh, ports right here for USB chargers. There's also bedside stands with normal household plugs on both sides for you folks that need your breathing machines. There's also a handy little like satellite jumper system up here. Now, because you don't have closets over here, which most folks generally actually don't like anyway, they gave you a monster sized wardrobe cabinet over here. So you notice they have hidden dresser space on this side that actually goes behind the window pane, uh, or pardon me, the mirror. Let me close this real quick for you so that you get to see the giant, uh, like two foot deep closet. Oh, you get to see me, the giant goofball over here too. That's unfortunate. Um, so, you know, you have lots of closet space going on. This is a true queen bed, true 80 inch queen bed. Now it's funny, most RVs with wardrobe slides shove the bed closer to this wall or opposite of wherever the wardrobe is. That means that both sides of the bed don't get the same walking space, which you see this one has plenty of. They thought about that at an open range. The bed physically shifts like six or eight inches so that when you get to your destination, it's lightweight, it's easy. You just push the bed over back to the middle and you're camping. You get the best of both worlds here. Um, again, just a, a quick pass by the, uh, the closet to give you another look. You have a sliding pocket door here to the bathroom. So you have bathroom access from the hallway for guests or during the day. And then at night, uh, for ease of use and privacy, you have your own access point over here. Um, when you walk in, I do want to mention something here real quick. The uh, closet is actually washer dryer prepped, which in a, a lighter class fifth wheel is pretty much unheard of. Now, uh, keep in mind, to do that, what you're going to need to do is actually remove some of the shelving, but uh, they kind of give you the best of both worlds again this way. You can have just the biggest linen cabinet you've ever seen in a smaller fifth wheel, or you could put like a, a combo washer dryer down there. It works either way. Um, we also have a spa style shower in here. What that means is that the door is open from the middle. That means you don't have to walk up to it, back up, swing it open, get in and out, although there is the floor space to do that here. I mean, to demonstrate that, allow me to sit on the toilet and show you there. there is a lot of floor space in here. I'm 6'3". I got long legs. It's been a problem my whole life. I hate flying in airplanes as a result. But, uh, you know, I have lots of room in here and this is something that actually fits me. With a monstrous medicine cabinet, you will not need to leave all your crap laying around the sink because it is all stowed away nicely and neatly. And again, let me stand in the shower here. This is uh, made for bigger folks like me. That's one of the reasons I'm such a big fan. I'm standing directly in the shower because it is a true walk-in shower with no step up. Zero step up in this shower. It is inside, outside, up, down, in, and around. One of the best engineered floor plans, uh, brands, overall, we've ever seen. We fought tooth and nail to get open range uh, brought in here because we're huge believers in this product. We wanted it in our offerings. Not because they sell, because they perform, because they offer people so much, uh, you know, enjoyment aftermarket and so much reliability. Uh, you know, I I've, I've seen one used open range ever on our dealership and we sell about a thousand a year at least. I mean, people just don't get rid of them. This is this is the mountaintop for most folks. You don't upgrade from this RV, you upgrade to it. And that's the only problem with an open range is I don't get a lot of re, uh, re, uh, return sales because folks are so happy with them. 800 256 5196 Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, folks. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.